How are we doing everybody? Welcome to Malekit's video blog. And today you join me at Hassocks Angling Club's Badger Wood Pond, where we've got this wonderful get fishing open day taking place. There's 20 families around this pond. We've got the help of local coaches, level ones and level twos, but also volunteers from the club and the local area to help youngsters and their parents and any associated family members have a go at fishing on these taster sessions and come away with their bronze get fishing award. It's a super event. I've just been walking around the lake. There's lots of fish being caught. We've got roach, rudd. Matt behind me here has caught a lovely skimmer bream as well, which has made his day. And uh, we're just taking this opportunity to go around and have a chat with the parents and discuss how people can get into the sport and continue participation in the world of angling. So um, yeah, it's just a quick little update of what we're doing here. If you are interested in running a get fishing event, either as part of your club or volunteering to put on one of these open days, then please do get in touch with me. My email address is graham.maybe, that's M-A-B-E-Y, at anglingtrust.net. So uh, hopefully we'll hear from you, but uh, yeah, it's wonderful to see this going on in the sport and it helps secure the future of angling. Okay, so this is Kirsty. She's brought her son Max along to the fishing event. Hello, Kirsty. Hello, Graham. <laughs> now, I uh, just want to get a little bit of a, an insight into why you've brought Max along to an event like this. So, how did first off, how did you find out about this fishing event? Uh, so, Max showed an interest in fishing, um, and he has previously been sea fishing, which is a little tricky for him. We need some coaching. Uh, so, I went onto the Angling Trust website, nice and easy, just put our postcode in, and it came up with a list of events. Right. Um, and I chose the one that was closest to home. Superb. And we're talking about trying to get some progression routes off the back of sessions yeah. like this aren't we because these are open days that are aimed to allow people to have a go for the first time or the second time fishing um, and to get their interest in the sport and we were just talking about it'd be really nice to get some regular sessions going on maybe a Saturday morning or the weekend so that youngsters like Max can continue fishing in the future um, and yeah we're trying to get that set up. So. That sounds amazing yeah so for Max he's come here for an experience day He's been lucky enough to be paired up with a great coach um, that's helped him throughout the session, but it would be good if he can learn a bit more independent skills um, and keep practicing those and progressing. So we'd definitely be interested if something was to be arranged or to come up. That's wonderful. And that's what the Get Fishing events are about. We've, the Get Fishing Award is a bronze, silver and gold award. So it's aimed around a three session progression, but then off the back of the gold award, that's when we're hoping that the participants will have the skills to be able to uh, enter into fishing clubs or into sort of independent fishing or fishing with their yeah. friends or family. Um, and that's the idea of the award. And the good thing about these new Get Fishing Awards is that they are run by or overseen by coaches, level ones and level twos, but also volunteers can get yeah. involved as well with as long as the, uh, the family is there to support the young people. So, you know, I'm new to post, so it's going to be my sort of uh, passion and mission to try and get yeah. more of these events going and to try and get people like Max here into the sports yeah, and allowing I'd, them to progress. Yeah, I'd highly recommend it. So we didn't know what we were going to be expecting when we arrived. Um, and so everyone's been really helpful, really passionate, really friendly. Um, and really knowledgeable so I've been able to kick back in the sunshine yeah. um, Max has had a lovely time so wonderful well hopefully, hopefully I'll see you again and uh, we'll let Max get back to his fishing and catch a few more fish lovely thank <laughs> you okay so it's the end of the first session here uh -huh. and I'm here with Tony you're one of the is it directors, is that your title yeah, for the club? Yeah, one of the club directors, yeah. One of the club directors here at Hassocks Angling Club. Um, Tony, I've been really impressed coming up to this venue. It's the first time I've visited. Um, the swim's superb. The fish stock seem perfect to get people into the sport for the first time. Could you give me a little bit of history about this pond? Yeah, well, we actually, um, we actually own the water. Um, we bought a field, basically, and uh, we dug the facility uh, about 10 years ago, it is now, I suppose and um, opened it about seven, seven and a half years ago and uh, just let it mature. Um, I mean, the EA have helped us a lot with um, fish stocks. Yeah. And we've also purchased some fish, um, well, through the EA and fish farms. And basically, yeah, I mean, we've got um, half a dozen 
disabled swims like this, which uh, allow obviously wheelchair access. Just, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, uh, su superb. It's in the fish docks as well. You've got roach, rods, tench, yeah, bream, crusions. We've got barbel in here as You've well. You've got barbel as well? Yeah. Superb. So a real nice variety for people yeah. to, uh, to start fishing and to go and catch lots of different species. Um, I do know that we've got some anglers, budding young anglers that are coming around the corner here, so we, we yeah. can't talk for too long. But uh, could you just tell me a little bit, with the club, can you get family memberships and junior memberships? Yes, yes. It's all on the website. Uh, you go to Hassocks Angling mm -hmm. and the website. And um, all the all the joining um, information's on there. It's a family club. Um, we're open to anybody, provided that they stick to the rules. And we've got um, 13 waters. Um, access to 13 waters. Yeah. We don't own them all. We own some of them. And really, it's it's a good variety. We do have some river fishing, uh, albeit there's um, the um, Ada. Um, here and the ewes down at Hamsey. Yep. Um, so there's so lots yeah. of variety to go into get into sport and yeah, uh, yeah. challenge yourself with inside fishing a little bit. Yeah, there. yeah. Right. Well, Tony, I'm going to leave you to crack on with your second session. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move out of the way, and I think your your okay. group are just behind here. So I'll let you crack on. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's a little bit of information about the the lake here, and also how you can get involved with Hassocks Angling Club. Um, it's the, I'm really amazed at the amount of clubs around the country. I'll just move around here so you can see me. There you go, because the sun's. Uh, Sun's in our eyes. I'm really amazed at the amount of clubs that are around the country that are so into getting families and youngsters into the sport. You know, like this lake here, um, it's superb. It's absolutely perfect. Lovely, nice, safe, level swims. The fish stocks are wonderful. Um, you can come here for a small price of a club ticket for the whole year and access into, I think uh, Tony said, 13 different venues. How are we doing, guys? All right. Uh, you can access 13 different venues and I think a, an adult membership is probably going to be around about £100 and junior memberships a lot, lot less than that for a whole year's fishing. So do check out Hassocks Angling Club for information on the club there. Um, right, we're just about to start session two. Um, so I'm going to crack on and uh, go and have a little walk around and help out where I can. And hopefully you've enjoyed this little update and this little vlog. If you're interested in running a Get Fishing Award at your local water, um, or helping out at one of these events, and please do get in, in touch with the Angling Trust via the website, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Cheers, thank you. Float. Right, so we're just starting the second session here at Badger's Wood, which is a Hassocks Angling Club water. Uh, this man here, standing beside me, Nigel, has uh, put this day on for the community. Um, thank you so much for doing this, Nigel. It's, uh, it's most appreciated. I've been going around and seeing uh, lots and lots of families enjoying themselves on the first session, and uh, the second session has just started. Um, you're a level two coach, is that right? That's correct, yeah. Wonderful, and you volunteered to go through your coaching scheme as part of the club, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah, lovely, and you know, it's, we need coaches inside clubs to help progress people on um, into the sport because days like this are really important to get people into the sport for the first time. Um, and we were just chatting about the, the fact that now the Get Fishing Awards can be run by volunteers, um, but it's important to have coaches inside the club to allow that progression, isn't it, so that they can actually progress That's on. That's right, you need a structured sort of set up to, uh, to organise it. Exactly, yeah. And how many waters have you got here at Hassocks? Do you know how many it is? In the oh, Hassocks have probably got about a dozen lakes, I should think, and plus a couple of stretches of river as well. Superb. So loads of variety. And um, one of the things I just wanted to have a chat with you about was I did hear somebody mentioning the fact that there's uh, a junior league. Is that right? Or there's some kind of junior setup that you've got That's inside the club? That's it. We have a junior uh, competition uh, day. Uh, well, several days, actually. Um, we're, we're sort of running out of juniors at the moment. They seem to be disappearing. So uh, if anyone's keen to come along to a, a junior match, or even if they want to come along to a senior match and, and learn, they don't have to pay any money. They can just sort of roll up, fish it, and um, maybe just sort of wander around and, and learn stuff from the, the experts. Exactly, and that's really nice to hear that juniors can come along, attend the matches, either the junior matches or the senior matches, free of charge to attend the senior matches, I take exactly, it, yeah. and learn from them, participate, and actually enjoy it. It's really strange, though, isn't it, Nigel, that we say that there's you know, junior memberships or juniors in the match fishing scene is dwindling, yet you know, we look around behind us and the lake is absolutely packed with juniors loving fishing today and having a wonderful time. And you know, part of my role coming into the, the trust as the regional officer 
is to try and talk to people, try and arrange things with yourself and with the local clubs to allow that progression so that people don't just come to a one-off event and have a go at fishing and enjoy it and then wait for the next one next year, but actually that they've got the skills and the, um, the exit routes to allow them to, and the confidence to allow them to join clubs like yourselves and access into the clubs. Because I've, I've no doubt that once they join a club like yourself, they're probably going to be club members for life. You know. Uh, yeah, the, the, the main problem is, is that the parents don't fish, so they need someone like myself and, and their other um, bailiffs and, and um, assistants and that to, to teach them. Yeah. And as long as the parents are willing to bring them along, then we're happy to teach them. Perfect. You're doing a fantastic job here at Hassex. Thank you very much for having me today. I'll let you get back to coaching the rest of the, uh, the families and the kids here. But uh, yeah, just well done, Nigel, and uh, I'm sure we'll be working again in the future. OK, thanks very much. Cheers. Well, that's my time here at the event done. Uh, I just wanted to end this little vlog by saying that uh, as the regional development officer for the southeast of England, if you want to put on any of these open days, if you need any help in securing funding or looking over funding bids, if you've got any issues with regards to your fishery or your club, please, please, please do pick up the phone and get in touch with me. Um, for those people that know me, I've been a coach for the last 15 years. I've run a fishery, I've run a tackle shop, I've been in the industry and in all manner of ways and I'm really excited to be working now as part of the Angling Trust to help more people get into the sport, to help fisheries, to help tackle shops and to basically grow the sport as a whole. So please do get in touch. I'm more than happy to travel up to you, have a cup of tea, um, sit down, discuss what we can do to help you. Get the. Uh, also what I need to do is I need to find out what's going on in the local area because projects like this we need to you know um, sing and shout about these because they're doing a really really important part in the community. Um, I need to know what's going on in the area so if you do have any uh, knowledge about any events like this that's going on please do pass it my way and I'll do all I can to come up and make, get some coverage of it and to promote the good work that's going on in the angling community. Right so that's it from me um, again my name is Graham Maybe. I'm the new regional development officer for the Angling Trust and uh, my contact details should be on the Angling Trust website and uh, by all means drop me a line. Cheers guys hope you enjoyed watching see you later.